happy Monday. It is super early. It is 5.55 in the morning. So it's our first day of pre-planning for our school district. And so our cross-country practices are even earlier now. So I had to wake up at 5 a.m., get to the school at 5.55 for a 6.15 practice. So I'm super tired, but it's okay. I swung by Starbucks, got an extra shot of espresso and my coffee this morning. So we are going to get started. I'm going to hop out of here, but I just want to get on and say hello and good morning. We're going to start practice and then it's our first day of pre-planning. So lots and lots of meetings. So I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> We are back in the classroom today is day three this is first day pre-planning so um most everything is good everything stayed up over the weekend so i'm super happy about that those little gel tabs worked for that i ended up for these i had those command strips but i ended up hot gluing the side that stuck to the little wooden board here so that way it would be extra secure so we're gonna have a staff breakfast in like 30 minutes, but what I'm gonna try and do, I have this little area underneath my whiteboard. So I bought that uh, paper that you can get from like Hobby Lobby or School Box. I'll, I'll put what it is at the bottom, but it's basically this like paper. So I'll show you guys over here. That is, let's see, it's called Better Than Paper. So this stuff is kind of what I have all over the room back here. So you guys can see it's a little bit better than just like paper. It's staple as well. You can glue stuff to it. You can um, tape stuff to it. So I have this stuff that kind of looks like turfed wall. So I'm going to make like a little turf wall underneath my board here. So I'm going to go ahead and lay that out. I'm going to end up putting um, strips of like painter's tape and then hot glue using that. That way the hot glue is against the board, but it's still like holding onto the wall pretty well. So I'm gonna do that first and I'll probably have to stop halfway through to kind of go to our meeting, but that's when I'm gonna start on making this little like greenery board right here with that better than paper. turned out really nicely I just like how it kind of frames everything and gives it kind of like this little warm kind of greenery feeling while framing all my quotes so what I'm gonna do next is work on finishing up the character strength wall so I have the hexagons printed I I cut them all over the weekend so I just need to laminate them and then I'll hang them up and then I need to kind of just fix this wall right here and hang up the stars already for math masters and then I should be done with all the decorations for my room so I'll go ahead and get on this next show you how I'm doing that and then the next two posters okay they're done they are so pretty okay so i'm gonna put these up on the board and then i'll kind of explain what i'll be doing with them this school year and how i'm gonna kind of use these as an interactive thing with my students and i put them in groups and talk about character strengths with them
excited. Okay, so basically what's gonna happen is every Monday I do a Mindset Monday with my students. So it could be we look into a person like a celebrity or a famous entrepreneur and we kind of talk about mindset and how they got there. We'll talk about maybe mindset and mathematics, like what does it mean to have a fixed mindset, a growth mindset, and like play out actual like role play situations of what that looks like in the classroom. So one thing I'm going to integrate into our Mindset Mondays are character strengths. And so what I'm going to end up doing is I usually have kids in pairs or groups. So I think on the days that I want to do character strengths in the mornings or on Mondays, is I'm gonna have each group dive into a character strength. So I may only do like six in a class because I might only have six groups and they'll end up presenting. So they'll kind of research it. What does it mean? What does that look like? And then um, I usually have kids like present a situation when we start talking about like, this is what growth mindset looks here or looks like in this situation. So what I'll end up doing is, so let's say we have curiosity. Okay, so what does curiosity look like in the classroom? What's a good example of curiosity that's a strength? Um, things like that, or perseverance, or like love of learning. So that's what those are. So then once we kind of dive in, we'll fill up those cards, like each group will write down like the strengths of those or like what those kind of look like. Um, I'll probably just use Expo Marker because I laminated them so I can use them year to year. So I'm super excited because that'll be a little bit more fun to work with instead of a, you know, word wall that kids don't really look at because it's behind them. So I'll probably end up doing more word wall stuff on the front of my classroom. So uh, character strengths, interactive, social emotional learning board. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so much fun. Yay! Okay, so I think I'm kind of at a stopping point. I've done a lot of just tedious stuff around my room with like the walls. A lot of that stuff takes so long, even though it feels like you're not even doing much. So basically, literally all I've done is this, and then all I've done is that. But it's already noon, so that's a really long time. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm kind of needing a mental break. I'm gonna break for lunch. I think I'm just gonna leave the building. I packed my lunch, but I just kind of want to get out for a minute. Um, so I'm going to leave, get lunch, bring it back. And then we have a department meeting at 1.30. Right now, I'm kind of a little bit overwhelmed because I just learned that I have a laptop cart in my room this year. So this is one of the huge ones. So they just swung by, one of our admins swung by this morning and I don't really know where I'm gonna put it. So I've gotta think about that and kind of rearranging some things in my room because I had it all set up perfectly with where I went at all my furniture and now that's gotta change a little bit. So I think I'm just gonna go get lunch, clean up my room. I have so much stuff all over the desk, clean that up and then probably put my desks where I want them to be to start school. So that way I can figure out where I want my laptop cart. I'm really excited about the laptop cart, especially since I'm doing a flipped classroom this year. That'll be interesting, never done that before, but we did it with uh, like at home learning and then in classroom stuff. So I'm excited to integrate a flipped classroom this year and I'll need laptops for it, but I was kind of hoping I would get the 16 laptop cart, 16 laptops instead of the 24, because this thing is massive, so. Okay, so I think that's my plan. I'm a little, yeah, I'm, I'm a little tired. So we'll see how the school year goes first day of school after being so tired already today and it's only noon. So yeah, all right, so gonna break for lunch. Okay, I'm back from lunch and this is in my classroom and I just don't know what to do with it, you guys. Like this is so massive. So I was thinking like tuck it away over here but it's just kind of like protruding out. Like normally I don't have student desks like in this area anyway, they're kind of pushed back a little bit, but oh my God, it's so massive. I don't know, it just does not look good. I don't know, help me out. I don't know what to do. Where do I put it? Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna clean up. I have about 30 minutes until department meeting starts. So I am gonna try and take care of all of this mess to make myself feel a little bit better. So we are done with our department meeting. It took about an hour, so lots of different things. We have a new principal this year, so there's just a lot of different things that they're wanting to do, like when it comes to tardies, how we do our duties, like all those little things. So it's just kind of like a new rollout of a lot of stuff that we had to go over. So I think that I'm actually going to head out. It's three o'clock. I need to go get some other stuff for my classroom. I ran out of kind of border and like some of that better than paper. I'm gonna start lining that wall right there between those little shelves and then, um, that way it kind of covers up a little bit of the wall dirt there and then it'll kind of make my letters stand out once I, those come in. So I think I'm going to leave, grab some more of that and then tomorrow we're going to start working in our PLCs and pulling curriculum and things you want to actually do. So I'm just going to get the finishing touches tomorrow morning and then comes all the busy work of just getting all my students together, pulling out all their information, 
just kind of figure out the first month of school and all the things I want to print for that. So, oh, I also moved this. I think, I think that looks better in the back of the room. I need to move some of the desks forward, but much better than right here. So I think I'm going to tuck it away there, but I need to put my desks in groups because there's no way they're going to fit like individually. So I think I'm going to have to put my students in groups the first week. I don't really like that. I kind of like them to keep them like isolated and separated. So they're not like too comfy with each other the first day. It's like a little more structured. So we think like rules and like kind of get all of that like together, teaching them all the rules while they're all like in just like little rows, just feels a little bit more formal. But I think I'm gonna have to start off in groups this year just because of that laptop cart. So I'm excited for it, but not excited. Anyway, so I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow I'll end up probably finishing all the decorations and have that finally done. And then I can kind of take you guys through what I do doing pre-planning and just kind of how I get my stuff organized for all my students to come in and how I go about planning the first couple weeks of school um, and run all my copies and make my notes packets and stuff. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.